Today, we're going to talk about Bernoulli's principle. When we take a well-coordinated inhalation and then release the breath, air in continuous motion produces an air pressure differential below and above the glottis to create the suction that produces periodic vocal fold vibration. That's exactly what just happened with the balloon. The air pressure inside the balloon is much greater than the air pressure outside of the balloon. And so when I created that narrow little aperture with two little flexible edges uh, through which air could escape, because the air pressure inside the balloon was greater than the air pressure outside the balloon, it created that wonderful vibration that you just enjoyed. Note that it takes some effort to blow up a balloon. The rubber that the balloon is made out of resists the influx of air. So once the balloon is all blown up, uh, it's the result of all that effort that I had to put into getting that air into the balloon. And now the rubber in this blown up state is full of the energy potential that I put into it when I use that effort to blow it up. It is this energy potential that's being expressed when the pressurized air inside the balloon creates the suction that produces the sound. The active part of breathing for singing is the inhalation. When you inhale, you infuse lots of energy potential into all of the tissues that expand when you inhale. Not just your lung tissue, but everything that expands to make way for the incoming air. Anywhere you feel it expanding in your abdomen, your rib cage, you are infusing those tissues with energy potential that's going to help to pressurize the air. This is the energy potential that creates the increase in your subclotal breath pressure which creates the suction that produces the sound. This energy potential is actually the strongest expiratory force in your body, much stronger than anything you could generate with your abdominal muscles or anything else you would do to push out the air. Until you really understand and experience how this works though, that force does not feel that powerful because there's no muscular activity involved. Try to prove this to yourself with a few simple airflow onsets. Take a big, well-coordinated inhalation and invest all of those expanding tissues with energy potential. Then simply release that breath and see if you can then invite your voice to respond without doing anything to boost or support the breath. Be sure to like and follow for more fascinating adventures in applied anatomy.